For those who don't know, I'm Paula, and for those who do, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For today's video, I'm going to be filming a 135 plus Christmas wish list guide ideas for teen girls, but if you're not a teen girl, you can still stick around because you might find something you like. I was originally planning on drinking from this mug, so it's more aesthetic, but I'm terrified to pour it all over my bed sheets, so I'm just going to drink my water. But as you can see behind me, we have my Christmas room, some lights, and then I have my old Christmas tree right there. But without further ado, I'm not going to keep this in for long and let's get started. You already know that I have a whole list of things. We have so many categories, so let's go through them. Present to electronic, skincare, jewelry, makeup, clothes, hair, perfume, and extras. So we have so much to go through and let's get started. And we're going to do this quick, so try not to skip. Ring light, Air Maxes, Air pods, iPhone, or a Samsung, they're both great, computer, iPad, phone case, computer case, AirPod case, Apple Watch, Polaroid, four new YouTubers, we have a camera, you can get our Sony or Canon, I have the ZF, no, ZV1F, Sony camera, if anyone was wondering, a tripod, a memory card, slash battery, so yeah. Skincare. I'm not a skincare pro because I use one brand. That brand is in this list. But yeah, Ordinary, Lebrains, Seraphy, Drunk Elephant, Bubble, and Bioma. You can find more on TikTok or on reviews overall in general. But I use the Lebrains one and I think it looks so good. Jewelry. Here again at 21. Hoop earrings, fat hoop earrings, Van Cleef bracelet or dupe, Van Cleef necklace or dupe. Small business supports because they often have such cute jewelry and they are definitely underrated. Tiffany & Co products, rings, Dior bracelets, clear rings, pearl jewelry, Louis Vuitton necklace, jewelry from La Vista. If you don't know what La Vista is, it's such a cute store. It's, I think it's in the UK, in Australia, in France, and in some other places. And last but not least, the jewelry holder. I don't know if that technically goes under the category, but I think it does. Makeup. Going in at number 34, heated lash curler, lash curlers, lash brush, Clarence lip oil, Dior lip oil, Charlotte Tilbury blush, Charlotte Tilbury contour, oh my god, rare beauty blush, sky high mascara, a bird's bees lip balm, they are actually so good, a glossier lip balm or like little sets, I have the ones of three and they're so freaking good, milk setting spray, a new brush and a Sephora gift set. Now moving on to clothes, I did clothes a little differently. We have like clothes items you can get, brands, and then like shoes and bags, but that all falls into the category of clothing. So let's get started. Coming in at number 48, we have Victoria's Secret Silky PJs or Silky PJs in general because I know that they can be expensive. Just some right regular tops you can get oversized crops mini i don't know just some cute tops flare leggings hoodies skirts dresses swimsuits active wear primer tank tops these are top notch or just tank tops in general i like to get mine especially in like xx to excess because that way it like really cinches your waist and it's so flattering brandy melville pjs back backless shirts, Ralph Lauren sweaters coming at number 60, puffer jackets, off the shoulder sweaters or off the shoulder tops, and a Glossier hoodie. Now these are brands you can get most of these items from, so let's get straight into these. These are not numbered because these are just brands, so I'm going to put them on the screen. Zara, H&M, Paxson, Abercrombie & Finch, Bershka, Pull & Bear, Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, Subdued, Vinted, that's optional, it's an online thrifting website as well as you can like look on thread up, but I put on Vinted because I love Vinted. Tilly's, Hollister, Don't Call Me Jennifer, Princess Polly, and White Box. Moving on to bags. So for back we have Marc Jacobs tote bag coming at 64, a regular little handbag, shoulder bag, North Face backpack or backpack in general, a mini backpack. These are so good, especially when you're traveling. Like you can put 
just your phone wallet but it doesn't fall and it's like always on you so it's such a good purchase just a tote bag in general a lululemon belt bag and a long champ bag moving on to shoes these are still in the category of clothing coming in at 71 we have converse then nikes adidas uggs new balances regular slides and just some slippers you know slippers are such a must you can get ugg slippers or regular slippers next category we have hair coming in at 78 we have an automatic hair curler 70 nine hair straightener a heated hairbrush dyson if you're not if you want to go over the price and get something more exclusive a dyson we have one and it's actually really good gisu hair oils olaplex hair things i don't know i don't use it so i don't really know what they're called but you know you get the gist heatless curlers these are actually amazing i put them in very often i actually showed you how i put them in in my fall night routine and how i take them out in my fall morning routine if you haven't seen that um Tangled teaser hairbrush. I have one and it's so good. Scalp brush, silk scrunchies, good ones, hair rollers, hair clips, and last but not least, hairspray, which was number 90. Getting into perfume, number 91, we have Ariana Grande Cloud. Ariana Grande, thank you next. Both you can get the 2.0 version or just regular version. Miss Dior, Marc Jacobs Daisy Perfume, Sol de Janeiro 62, Sol de Janeiro 68, and Sol de Janeiro 40 sprays. These are so good. Gucci Florals. I've been dying to get these. I really want them. Ariana Grande Mod. Coming in at number 100. Yay! We have Victoria's Secret Mist. And then we have Carolina Herrera Good Girl Perfume. I'm going to put it on the screen, obviously, because I've done with everything else. But yeah, I think the packaging is just so aesthetic. And it does smell really nice, but they are quite expensive. Moving on to the last category, which is extras. Number 102 up to number 139. So let's get started with this long, long list of extra things. If you don't know what I mean with extras, it's just things that don't really fall into the other categories but i still think that are such cute christmas gifts and i actually ordered some of these so let's get straight into that sunset lamp led clock skylight led lights a hatch alarm clock five minute journals gift cards victoria's secret makeup bag glossy makeup bag as you can see i have them right there jelly cat or plushies in general i think they're such a cute little gift i have a few last year i got this one from my sister it's originally bts merch but i don't care it's just so cute funky candles fun bases sony angels coming in at number 115 subscriptions to like netflix hulu uh disney plus spotify whatever just subscriptions in general still betting concert tickets disneyland tickets i went in the summer and i think we're going again this summer and they're such a good little essential Dior, Louis Vuitton, Prada, etc. books. These are so cute and aesthetic. I think they put, like, it makes such a cute room decor. I ordered these for Christmas myself. Who knows if I'm going to get them, hopefully. But yeah, fake nails, Venus de Fleur roses. If you don't know what these are, it's basically roses that can sit up to a year. And they're put in these, like, cute boxes. I really want these. They're so expensive. Mini printer, candies, yearly planners, succulents, albums, desk mirror, CDs, CD cases, a mini fridge for skincare or snacks, coming at number 131, mini waffle maker, vinyls, Stanley, a hydro flask, um, Victoria's Secret wallet, I really want this. A YSL wallet, charger decor, I have these and they're super cute and they also prevent your charger from breaking if it folds from time to time so these are really good. Heatable plushies for in general or when it's that girl's time of the month. And, and last but not least, number 139, fun rugs. And that was the list of 135 plus items gift guide i hope it did help um i know i'm posting this sort of late but who cares i think 
I think this was a good list and hopefully you got a few ideas. Make sure to stay tuned for my next winter vlog and see you. Goodbye. Uh, uh,